Eamon, you have a problem. Well, he fools me every gosh dang time. You're not. You're welcome, baby. Oh my gosh. We're Eamon and Beck, and this is our cabin in the woods. We've spent the last eight months living out here remotely to renovate it into our dream home. Subscribe for a new video every single Sunday. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a day in our life. remember that Eamon and I were getting into a routine of morning kayaks for the sunrise. Well, the sunrise is at about 5.20 right now, so that's just not happening. Well, we told ourselves we are gonna. Yeah. We started yesterday in the right mindset. We decided that the takeaway from morning kayaks was really just not to be on our phones. So taking a moment on the dock with our coffee is honestly the perfect way to start the day. <laughs> This is good. <laughs> You're pretending to kayak. <laughs> okay. So the truth is, our morning routine looks nothing like this because Eamon's normally in bed for two plus hours after me. Truth! So, good morning Eamon. Thanks for gracing everyone with your presence. I normally do all of this solo. Not every day. Most days. To be honest, it has been a little bit stressful dealing with our illegal staircase and decks. So it is nice taking a little bit of time away from our phones and start the morning off the coffee by the lake. And give you a little update, we've hired a full-blown engineer. We're spending a whole bunch of money to do the drawings proper, get the sign off, make good with the township. I heard a lot of you wanted to see my personal vlog and my thoughts about this. But we'll save that for another time. Use your imagination. So, 1K warm up. Incline <laughs> dumbbell, just lightweight, baby. Girls for the girls, babies. Think on push up. <laughs> Welcome to the burnout round. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Hammerco holds. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's fave. Oblique V ups. Trap drugs. Why can't I speak today? <laughs> yes, sir. Trappies. V up. Stay with me now. Hammer for holds. Hammer for holds. <laughs> Shh, don't tell back. She doesn't like spinach. There you go, baby. Thanks, Bill. Mmm, a thick shake. So far, our day in the life is going pretty good, I'd say. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we really explained, but we're kind of trying this thing where we fast and we do fasted workouts. So we're breaking our fast with a really nutritious smoothie. And um, I feel really good doing this. I know it obviously doesn't work for everybody, but I feel like I actually have more energy when I um, give my body that break to not be eating all the time. I can't really do it. I get too hungry in the morning. <laughs> I usually have some fruit. Better get going on those dishes, Beck. Oh! Uh, <laughs> Aaron and I had a 
had this bet. It's like just a silly little bet. And I thought someone's name was Ethan and he thought it was Evan. And so we bet a full day of dishes on it. Today is the day. Obviously his name was Evan. Evan. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. That'll teach her not to mess with my cognitive memory skills. <laughs> so I'm wondering if any of you have this where you work out and then you have a cold smoothie and you just absolutely shiver. Like your body temperature is like too cold. Anyways, I always have to hop in a hot, quick shower to rinse off. Oh. Ah. Dude. I don't know if any of you are familiar with this gypsy moth problem, but this is all gypsy moth poop. And as you can see, these are the gypsy moths, which are taking over our deck, our house. Our they are absolutely everywhere. And the problem with them is they then climb up your trees and eat all the leaves. So these beautiful trees that we have right next to the outdoor kitchen space are almost leafless. We've seen this on the internet and it seems to work pretty good, but as you can see, some of them still get by. Yeah, apparently you put this duct tape. Sticky side out. And then they can't crawl up. But I think we're losing the stickiness. Eamon, look at all of them above it. If you spend two seconds and just look up at any one branch, like you can see them literally eating all of the leaves. So we're having quite the field day, like cleaning up the poop, getting rid of the gypsy moth. Big problem, actually. It's a full-time job up here at the cabin. Okay, she's clean for now, but I guarantee you I'll show you this tonight and it'll be covered in poop and leaves and gypsy moths again. Gotta love it. I'm not gonna shower yet. I am going to remain a stanky boy because... I gotta go to the dump. Stopped off at my neighbor's place. Got some of his garbage. You always gotta help out the neighbors. It's actually so exciting. This is the first day or first weekend that things have been open in Ontario. And it really feels like things are open. There's just people out doing stuff, golfing. Wow. Life, man. Hey, looks like I even left you guys with me. Okay, so you can spend the day watering my garden. She's looking really, really great. This is the one tree I am not okay with the gypsy moss attacking, obviously, so I give her a little rinse down. Just give her my love. Hello everyone, what do we have on today? Hey, just some construction waste, some household, some cardboard. Perfect, you're good to go. Thank you. Welcome to my itty bitty veggie garden. The truth is I was a little bit nervous to attempt like a full-blown garden because, well, I'm not that good at it and I didn't know how much commitment I could give to it. But now that I've started, I'm kind of obsessed. So, um, full sun, basil, doing pretty well. Do you guys say basil or basil? I'm always a little self-conscious of that. She's looking really good. Then my cherry tomatoes. Then my cherry tomatoes are looking so good. These guys started off as seeds. So rewarding to see them come up. And then these little babes are my total faves. Excuse me, Gypsy Moth. Because they are so chill. They always look good. I don't know what they're called, but I'm sure a lot of you gardeners out there are just cringing at how little I know, but at least I'm trying. Off to the laundry room. So apparently this couple just came and dropped off a bunch of stuff they had no time to sell. So we're going through it. There's some gold, like this brand new cooler and cane. Holy smokes, you're getting tense out of this. Mesh. This is gold. There's a perfectly good chair. What's that? 
Holy shit, buddy, this might be the gold mine. Holy. So while you might be thinking, well, Eamon got the short end of the stick today having to go to the dump. We all know Eamon loves going to the dump. And also, I have to do like 10 jobs in one. I'm not keeping score or anything. But yeah, I secretly do love these kind of days when you just get reorganized. Our laundry piles up like crazy because between working out a little bit and working outside and just getting so sweaty and hot, basically everything is a must wash. Anyways, feeling good. If you can believe it, it is already two o'clock, so time to figure out lunch. So we've got some leftover tofu, potato, I've got some bell pepper, cucumbers. I'm gonna see what I can salvage of this red cabbage. And then I'm thinking quinoa. I'm thinking quinoa. Lunch is ready, and the laundry little chime thing went off, which means Eamon is definitely not only at the dump today. My thought is that he's buying something. And all I can think of is, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Well, he fools me every gosh dang time. What is he buying? I was literally just saying you've been gone way too long to not have purchased something. Didn't purchase anything, but got a good deal on the dump. <laughs> Come have a look. There's no way you didn't buy something. I didn't buy nothing. I got this all for free. Check this out. Amen. We don't need more junk. A cooler. We don't need a cooler. For camping. Oh, Amen. We don't a need A weighted that. ball for exercise. Jeez. Some more weights for exercise. Plastic cups for drinking. You gotta be kidding me, man. A cane, Bob's getting old. No. <laughs> a six person tent. You're not kidding. Oh I'm just my up. gosh. A glass chess set with all pieces brand new. A baseball bat, a bunch of kitchen stuff. Four beautiful lawn chairs. You're not. You're welcome, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess we didn't purchase anything, so let's check this back door. What's in here, Avon? No, 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 it's nothing here. What'd you buy? No, that was free too, a projector. A backup projector. Amen. we it's have free. a... You have a problem! You know how expensive those bulbs are? Oh my buy gosh. Like, what happened at the dump today? Somebody just came by with a bunch of good stuff? Yeah, they said, oh, we're moving out. Uh, you know, we don't have time to get rid of any of this. And I said, me and, me and Mitch, buddy at the dump, just had a freaking heyday. <laughs> oh, yes, food. <laughs> Do I'm gonna make you a Buddha bowl? Welcome to Beck's kitchen. Buddha bowl. Start with a nice layer of quinoa. All the veggies you could imagine. Celery. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this looks, bud. Don't mind me, I use my hands at my kitchen. That's what professional chefs do. Tofu. And then I'm just gonna top it with some lemon tahini. Yep, I'll take that. You're Thank welcome. you. Welcome. Feels good to eat healthy. Mm. Today's video is sponsored by ThreadUp, and while Eamon was in town, he actually picked up my parcel from them. I've already had a little peek. I'm going to show you some of the pieces, but make sure you stick around for a promo code just for you guys to try it out. And if you're not familiar, ThreadUp is an online thrift store with thousands of brands, so you can shop from brands you love like Free People or Lululemon, Anthropology for 90% off the estimated retail price. With Ontario still in some sort of lockdown, shopping isn't the easiest. Plus, I live in the woods, so it's really nice to be able to thrift online, know that they're from trusted brands, and have it delivered right to you. Or almost right to you. I mean, I live in the woods, so close enough. Okay, let's try on some things. I'm obsessed with this little unbranded hat. It's normally about $25, and I got it for $9.99. And then this is just like your easy breezy, 
put it on top of a bathing suit. Lucky brand, normally $109 and I got it for $31. Everyone needs a pair of Levi denim shorts. These are normally $45 and I got them for only $13. And this is from Intimately by Free People, just a nice little crop, normally $30 and I got it for $13 as well. The hat is the same hat, but I just can't bring myself to take it off. And for the summer splurge, we have this soppy one-piece bathing suit, normally $215, and I scored it for $160. If you are interested in shopping on ThreadUp, you can use code BEC30 for an additional 30% off your first order. And I'm thinking about having a little four o'clock pick-me-up. Do you want a coffee or matcha? We started going up the trail, remember? We, we, uh, we got a trail there. <laughs> I remember. It's yeah. been maintained once. So. I don't really remember the last time we talked about the entirety of our property, but that is the cabin over there. And then Eamon and I own three acres of land to the left. So this is where the pathway is that he's talking about. The goal would be to one day obtain a permit legally to build a little bunkie, like a sleeping cottage, just a small little 10 by 10 tiny home um, for more guests, for our overflow of guests. So yeah, I've got uh, a couple pros here and uh, a couple arborists because we've got a tree that's a little bit dead, a little close to the property. I'd like to see the way they do it and then that way it'll give me confidence next time I'm in a situation because I'm pretty good at felling trees, I'm getting pretty confident with the chainsaw, but yeah, when it's really close to the cabin, it could be a costly mistake. We got this ash here, looks about 30 feet. It's got a lean to the right and a little bit of a lean to the back. We're gonna go up and trim some of the weight off where it wants to pull. We're gonna put a line about two thirds up uh, in a union where we know it can support the weight. And then if you look down to my left, we're going to hook it up to that tree, put a couple of guys on it with a pulley. As the tree releases, um, it'll go in the direction we want, but not until then. So we have a little bit of time. I'm setting up to climb up. I always use two ropes when I climb. I use my lanyard for safety and then my climbing line. And uh, that way if one goes and my spurs, I'm in good shape. And I always have two lines hooked up when I'm cutting. Cool. So safety first. Safety first. There's no rush to do this when you're 30 or 50 or 80 feet up in the air and you got a saw in your leg and a saw in your hand. So it's probably a good call I didn't try to do it myself. No. If I was to do this, I probably would have just hooked it up to the gator, started pulling and started cutting. Um, they've done it a little more professionally. They've actually got a pulley system here and then the boys are gonna pull it um, as Jared cuts it. All right, let's cut this bad boy. All right, here we go. Good job, guys. Buddy! Let's 
<laughs> what in the world? <laughs> if anybody's been watching us since last summer, you might remember this floaty where we bought it and then strapped it to the van and did like a Ontario road trip with it strapped to the van. It is massive, but oh, it's just so fun. Just hang up. I wish I had a friend that would want to wrestle on here, but this friend does not. <laughs> this dock would not go into the secret tunnels in it. Some of you probably remember Gary, the plumber from the shower vid, he's doing a, he turned into quite a friend of ours. <laughs> you okay? And it was pretty funny because he came by earlier today. So I came down to the dock and said hello. He's hanging out with his family and everything. He's like, so what kind of video are you making today? I was like, oh, we're making a day in the life. He's like, so what do you do there? I was like, we just live our life. <laughs> Didn't quite understand. Yeah. Oh. Pretty cool. Life is not bad. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, Gary, yeah. Gary probably thinks we're nuts. Yeah. Hey I Gary, think, are I you think, watching these days or what? <laughs> I think most people in our small town, in our small community, see us talking to a camera <laughs> yeah. and think we're nuts. Oh yeah, you should have seen the guy that dumped today. <laughs> he was pretty in though. Mitch is a beauty if you're watching. <laughs> yeah. Just because you likely thought I was exaggerating, it's been three hours since my shower. Maybe a little longer. Look at all the gypsy moth poop again! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This tree is losing leaves by the second. Oh my god. Look, look at look them all. all! Oh, today's been a very bad day with gypsy moths. I hate the gypsies. <laughs> you guys want to see something crazy? Check out this dude. Oh my gosh, look at this stud. I gotta see this for, for my... Oh, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Do you actually believe it's me now, Ben? Max, you look awesome. <laughs> it's very different. It's taken me, it's taken me a little bit to adjust still. Um, but yeah, I enjoy looking a little bit younger, so that's good. Oh my God, Max. Dude, you look fresh as Yeah. <laughs> So what do you guys think? Uh, Max is just following suit. He fits the trendsetter. <laughs> Getting the fades. Getting the fades dial. Eh, Maxie? Think we told them. Did we tell them? What? But Max sent us a photo this morning and Eamon surprised me with the photo and didn't say who it was or anything. So he's like, oh, like, don't you think this person looks good? And I did not know who it was. Literally did not know who it was. <laughs> literally didn't know. For like who it was. 15 minutes. Yeah. She's like, who is that? I literally don't know who that is. But yeah, you're looking fresh, Max. Looking, so Looking really fresh. Layer one. Peppers. <laughs> Tomato. Green olives. Green onion. Plant-based cheese. Plant-based nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not quite. It's not so bad. It's I've chips. Got it's chips coated in cheese. Yeah, it's not so good. All right. Mexican fiesta. We ain't gonna share no one. <laughs> All right, shall I do the honors? Oh my gosh. Are they seeing this? Oh wow. Okay. Cashew cream, chipotle cashew cream. How is it? Very good. Very, very good. A little spice, a little heat. Little crunch. Words of a poet right there. Mm. If I could only have one meal for the rest of my life. You're looking at it. Uh -huh. Yeah, probably. Definitely something Mexican. Tell me in the comments what your last meal would be. Or your only meal. What am I asking? You know what I mean. 
So Beck's obviously on the dishes, as we know. I'm gonna uh, sit down, enjoy some TikTok. I can't believe you're letting me do this all by myself. Okay, check this out. I found a good one. Genius! Genius! But you thought I was just gonna sit out there and watch TikTok Ow. and not help you. Saddle up. All dry. Caught red handed. This guy wants you to think he's helping me, but look at him. I, all the drying's done. Oh. <laughs> I am knackered, fam. What is that, like something the kids are saying these days, fam? It was still a fam. Ooh, I'm not good still, fam. Rejuvenates the look of dry, dehydrated, and devitalized skin and relaxes facial tension. I don't know, here's my skincare routine. <laughs> Go for a swim in the lake. <laughs> Lie down. Your okay. skin looks great. Yeah, it's true. Maybe I'm overdoing it with the I facial I think all this crap is... Bullshit. Once in a while, I'll like wash my face <laughs> and then just pat dry. You all ready for bed? Good night, bud. Good night, boo. Okay. Good night, everybody. I hope you enjoy the day in the life. We'll see you Sunday for another episode. Make sure you call someone you love and tell them you love them, buddy. Bring, bring. Hello. I love ya. I love ya. Hey. I love you. This back. <laughs> Don't forget you can use code BECK30 for 30% off your first order with ThreadUp and shop sustainably for summer. Oh. <laughs> I need help, put that on a tripod. What am I at? 105. Also, I don't know if any of you... <laughs> Oh, cabbage kits, cabbage patch kits. <laughs> oh, welcome to the burnout round. No, you're looking at yourself, dude. Look at me. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, go. <laughs> welcome to. No, the no, no, no. <laughs> Through the mirror, look at me. Uh, um. Oh, the tripod. Ah. What am I trying to say? Hem Hemical hold. Hemical hold. <laughs> Hemical hold. Uh, you might catch me talking to my camera. I have a, a vlog I do. Don't worry, Jared. We're, we're only going to show the one time. Oh, great. Amy <laughs> just caught a glimpse of his bum in the mirror. I never had a bum before. Nice. Oh, and real quick, we got a special birthday in the audience tonight. Big shout out to my second cousin, Maya, happy birthday. She's turning 11. Happy 11th birthday, Maya. I hear we are birthday twins. All right. Goodbye.